Okay. Three, two, one. Well, before the, uh, the big match in the Super League, there was a big match for two women's rugby league clubs, the Guildford Giants and the West London Sharks. Kirsty is the Guildford Giants captain, Chris is the West London Sharks captain. Chris, you ended up on the winning side today, but it must have been an incredible experience being out there at the Stoop this afternoon. Amazing. The first ever time I've ever had a women's game on the Stoop. We got to play it. Yeah, yeah it's great. Um, we've been working really hard the RFL down south to get more clubs going, so Guildford have pulled together a team which is awesome. Uh, so we're all playing our games locally now, but to open on the Stoop, couldn't ask for anywhere else, could you? Absolutely. And Kirsty, I think it's a big day for the Guildford Giants, full yeah, stop, it is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, definitely. It's, um, it's a brand new team this year. We, we tried to get it going last year and we had a uh, there was a Merit League last year. So uh, this is our first league game. A lot of the girls are new this season, mostly union players. Um, and to be able to play at the Stoop, everyone was so excited. I think we pulled it together in the second half. First half was a little bit shaky, but a really good experience for everyone involved. Amazing. You say about it being a new club. I mean, just talk us through the experiences that you've had in the last year or so getting the club founded. Um, well, Rugby League, I found, actually, is relatively undeveloped in the South. Um, last year, when I was looking for a Rugby League team, I mean, the only luck that was the London Sharks, um, yeah. which I was quite shocked about. Um, and there is a men's team in Guildford, and there's a lot of men's team in the South. So we just latched onto the Guildford team, um, and we've been developing it over the year. It's been quite hard work, but the RFL have been really good. They've been behind us the whole way. Um, and now we've got five teams in this um, Southern Division, which is amazing. So we've got this, you know, mini league um, down in the South now, and really exciting for Rugby League for women in the South. And Chris, anyone who saw that game today would, would appreciate there were some fantastic yeah. tries scored. Well, we all try it. All of us, like you said, all of us play Union. We don't have any designated Rugby League um, players down South, which is why we started to get this summer one going. So I don't know if you saw one girl try to place the fullback. <laughs> Um, but just all the ball skills, and that's what heaps of the girls use it for, is for their fitness. You know, because you've got girls here, some are, you know, for sevens, but not all girls are built for sevens. You know, some of us like bashing it around a bit. So that's where, like, rugby league comes in, and it's awesome. And yeah. you speak about that, that not quite having designated players yet for rugby league. How long mm. do you think it will be before that changes and rugby league grows and grows and grows for the women? I, that's why I love rugby league, though, that the plays aren't quite as designated. Everyone's got to be able to catch, everyone's got to be able to pass. If you call a ball, if you call a move, you could be the ball carrier or the ball receiver. Because in rugby union, you have designated ones. Oh no, can't do that. You're not supposed yeah. to stand there. Rugby league, everyone gets in. Everyone's got to do it. You've got to tackle what's in front of you. So I think that's why a lot of the girls like it. Much more ball in hand and much more able to do everything. It's a lot everything. simpler as well, I think, yeah. in terms of the game. It's, pure, it's proper rugby. You know, it's pure rugby at its finest. You know, okay. you just run lines. You just can run where you like, basically, on the field, and just yeah, just play good rugby. Oh, yeah. I just want to be from the pair of you. I think you've thoroughly enjoyed the experience. Oh, oh, amazing. Honestly, it's a highlight of my life so far, just being at the Stoop, yeah. Yeah, I've never got to play. I've played a few different places, um, but never on the Stoop, so this was always going to be a big one. Kirsty, Chris, great game out there, Thank well played. Thank you very much, Thank, Thank you. you.